And that's why truth is just so important. Uh, let's say I pass tomorrow. I've got all this error. Mm -hmm. I've got some love. So do I pass into the place that represents my error? Or is it is there an average between the two? How does that work? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good question. Yeah. Your soul is in a certain condition of love. There's two types of love, remember? What are they? Natural love. And natural love. Right, so there's the two types of love. Now, the natural love is all about morals or morality. And divine love is all about receiving God's love into your heart, right? Now, you can receive some divine love, but still have moral error. Right? And at some point, you will have to be confronted with that error to progress beyond that point. Now, what often happens is that you know, we might pass, and there'll be, um, we'll be in a uh, place that matches our soul condition in love. So, so let's say right now your soul is, is, could, could be in a third sphere state. You, so you will pass and you can go to the third sphere. But let's say I've got a heap of rage in me still, mm -hmm. which is like a, almost a first sphere rage, mm -hmm. right? Well, I will be visiting the first sphere at different times and that rage will be triggered and released. Mm -hmm. right? so, so while your home might be in the third sphere, you may find initially that you don't spend hardly any time there at all and you spend most of your time where your emotional injuries are, you deal with those emotional injuries, and then the home that's prepared for you is, uh, it, 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 by the way, not prepared for you, you prepared it, believe it or not. And the home that you have prepared for yourself by your life here, um, you'll be able to live in, wherever that be. So you go to where the, you've developed your love, not where your errors are, is that? You go yes, where you yes. develop your love, but yes. it's the real part of your love. See, a lot of times right. we're receiving spirit love from spirits, which we then think is our love. And, I see. You know what I mean? We often have a, we yeah. often right at the moment will have an uh, inconsistent concept or an incorrect concept about what my true loving condition is right now. Because we receive love from spirits. Because you're receiving love from spirits, so that times you feel loving right. and you reflect that love. And so then you start thinking that it might be a part of your own love. I see. But all of God's work, laws work on your soul condition, right. not anybody else's. So that's why the majority of people on earth pass into the first sphere, because it works on your own soul condition. Yeah. Now, the, the key is for you to start addressing the emotions that cause you. Now, if you just, just the idea of having a feeling inside of yourself of wanting to look at your emotions puts you in a different condition of love. Do you understand that? Like, so, so just you having a desire to feel your own emotions places you in a, in a higher condition of love. Because the majority of persons don't want to feel their own emotions. What do they want to do with them? Suppress them. They want to suppress them. What else? Deny them. Project them. Project them. They, they want other people to look after them, generally, don't they? That is an unloving sp space. So as soon as you even get into the condition where you even just want to feel your own emotions, straight away you're in a better space. Even if you're not feeling them? Even if you're not feeling them yet. Right? You are already in a better condition right. than you were just moments before choosing to not feel them. So every single change you make causes your condition to change straight away. Every single change you make towards divine truth causes your condition to shift. And every shift you make means that obviously when you pass into the spirit world, you would pass into a different location. Mm. And every one of you right now is preparing a home for yourself in the spirit world. In the first century, I used to say to people, I'm going my way to prepare a place for you. In my father's house, there are many mansions. Right? And what I was referring to was that every one of you have a home, and some of you even have mansions in the spirit world, right? where you are developed in love enough to actually exist in those locations when you're in your sleep state. Right? Some of you will even have dreams of your home in the spirit world. Mm. Have, many, have any of you had that? Where you've had a dream of a really nice location and you've woken up wondering where that is? Mm. Yeah? Well, that's your home in the spirit world. 